Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the You're a Gem stamp set from Neat and Tangled. And I'm going to be creating a one layer card with tons of repeat stamping on it. And I'm gonna do a little bit of really simple coloring. So I'm creating my card base out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock in the 110 pound version. And I've scored it at five and a half to create a top folding card and then place some wide post-it tape right above the fold to protect the back of the card while I'm stamping. This is going to make sure that as I stamp those gemstones all the way up and over that fold that it's going to protect the back. It won't have any of the stamping going to the back of the card. Starting out with uh, stamping my greeting and it's I'm going to use the one that says you are a gem and these stamps are actually separate so you can get the spacing just the way you want it on your card if you want it all in one line or if you want it stacked like this. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and a compact stamp press and then I moved to, to some individual acrylic blocks to stamp all of the gemstones. I started with this heart shape and I'm just kind of rotating all of the gems as they circle around this greeting area. I'm going to have all of the gemstones radiating out from the center of the card. And I wanna make sure that they look a little bit playful, kind of like they've just been tossed onto a surface here. So I'm making sure to rotate these gems as I stamp them. Moved on to a circular cut and then on to this rectangular cut, which is actually one of my favorite cuts for diamonds and other uh, gemstones. I just, I just love how sm much more sparkly it is. I just love it. So I'm stamping off the top edge of that card and I'm gonna come back and fill in this one last spot down here in the corner. I know some of you were kind of thinking, like what is she doing with that empty spot? And <laughs> over the other two empty spots, I grabbed a really small gemstone image from the stamp set. So I'm going to move on to some really, really simple coloring. I'm only going to be using three different color schemes for these gemstones for the three different gems that I used. I'm not really going to add a, a fourth or fifth for those really small ones. But I'm basically going to be coloring the heart-shaped gems in a red color scheme. And then I'm going to have the other two shapes in a different color scheme. So I'm using three different markers for each color scheme and this first one I used a uh, kind of a mid-tone red, a dark red, and then a lighter red. And so for this first round of coloring I used kind of like a little bit of a mid-tone red for that center area on the heart gem and I realized after I had done them that it probably would have been smarter to use an even lighter color because when you're looking at um, different jewels like this, generally that area that's right in the center reflects light a little bit more than the wood on the sides of the stone. And so they look a little bit more realistic if you have the lightest shade in the center. You can really see the difference here when I color in the blue gems here that um, it just seems like there's more light coming from within if you put the lighter color in that center area. So I think, I think if I was to make this card again, I would recolor the red heart gems in that that same, those same colors, but kind of swap the color that's in the center, if that makes sense. So I'm adding in some more green colors, and then I'm going to go over the top with a lighter shade of green. So I really love how the, the blue and green gems look like they have light coming from within the stones. I think it looks really, really cool. So after I had all of the gems colored, I was wondering, I'm like, this card looks like it's missing something and I didn't quite know what to do. And then I decided to put some Nouveau crystal glaze over the top of all of these gems, which after I started doing it, I was like, you know, maybe that wasn't the best choice because I'm gonna use like half a bottle trying to cover all these gems. Turns out I didn't use half a bottle. I, I mean, I did use more than usual, but there were still plenty left in the bottle But when I was done. But I'm coating each one of these with just a single layer of Nouveau Crystal Glaze. And I almost used my Ranger Glossy Accents for this, but I think, you know, it has a similar effect and I didn't need to use that smaller bottle. This, this bottle has more of the product in it, so I think it's a little smarter to use the big bottle. But I did let this dry for a few hours to make sure everything was completely set. 
but I love how it dried. Once it once it dried, everything was clear, had a nice glaze on top, and I really love how it turned out. Some of you might be wondering the difference between the Nouveau Crystal Glaze and Ranger Glossy Accents. I find that the Crystal Glaze doesn't have quite um, a smooth of a finish in large areas like this. You can kind of see that it's got a little bit of a texture to it. Such a small difference though. I don't know that I would, it would really sway me one way or the other. That's the card for today. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in a new video very soon. Mm -hmm.